We have recently published our prospective experience with the use of the Slim Linear Echo Endoscope in our clinical practice. In this video, we'll be outlining the relevance of our clinical findings. Although available data are limited, perforation is more common with upper GI EUS than with EGD. Increased risk is attributed to echoendoscope design, which combines oblique or side-viewing optics with relatively long rigid tip that extends well beyond the lens. The echoendoscope tip may cause luminal perforation during advancement, particularly in areas of tight angulation, stenosis or altered surgical anatomy. To overcome these technical drawbacks, a slim linear echoendoscope with a probe tip diameter of 12.9mm and tighter bending radius has been developed. At our tertiary referral centre, the use of slim linear echoendoscope was documented prospectively in 2,000 consecutive patients aged 18 years or over, who underwent EUS examination from February to November in 2022. We included patients in whom a standard curvilinear echoendoscope could not be successfully advanced to the required position due to anatomical limitations. EUS was performed using a slim linear echoendoscope during the same treatment session. The primary outcome measure was to evaluate the impact of slim linear echoendoscope, which was defined as the establishment of a new diagnosis or if findings at EUS altered subsequent treatment plan. The secondary outcome measure was adverse events. Of 2,000 EUS procedures, the slim linear echoendoscope was required in 23 patients, which is 1.15%. Of the 23 patients requiring the slim linear echoendoscope, technical success was achieved in 95.6% of the cases. The indication for slim linear echoendoscope included jaundice and altered anatomy in 4 patients, abnormal CT or MRI in patients with a stricture in the upper GI tract in 14 patients, mechanical compression from cervical osteophytes or tracheostomy in 3 patients, and the presence of a mass adjacent to the fourth portion of the duodenum in 1 patient. The median procedure duration using the slim linear echoendoscope was 12 minutes, and slim linear echoendoscope impacted clinical management in all 22 patients in whom the procedure was technically successful. By establishing tissue diagnosis in 19 and altering treatment plan in 5 patients. Adverse event was encountered in one patient with a malignant laryngeal stricture who developed transient airway compromise on passage of the slim linear echoendoscope and the procedure had to be aborted. A 56-year-old female with history of Ruan Y gastric bypass was referred for unexplained jaundice and biliary ductal dilatation. After installation of water into the excluded stomach via 19-gauge FNA needle, a 20mm diameter by 10mm saddle length lumen metal stent was placed between the gastric pouch and the excluded stomach to gain access to the major papilla. The lumen opposing metal stent was sutured to the gastric pouch to prevent migration. The Pentax Slim Linear Echoendoscope EG34J10U was then advanced successfully via the lumen opposing metal stent to reach the major papilla. On EUS examination, a 13mm sized mass was visualised in the mid common bile duct, which was sampled using a 22 gauge acquired francine tipped FNB needle. Rapid on site evaluation revealed the diagnosis to be adenocarcinoma. Then, using a slim pentax duodenoscope with an insertion tube width of only 10.8mm, the bile duct was selectively cannulated. And after performing a biliary sphincterotomy, a Wolflex metal stent was placed across the biliary stricture.
In conclusion, the slim linear echo endoscope was required in 1.15% of 2,000 consecutive examinations by an experienced EUS team. When slim linear echo endoscopes were used, 95% of patients benefited with significant impact on their clinical management. Therefore, inclusion of the slim linear echo endoscope in the endoscopy armamentarium would be particularly relevant to large volume quaternary referral centers treating patients with complex and varied pathology who have failed procedures at outside facilities. If you want to learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art endoscopy technologies, please attend Florida Live Endoscopy from August 22nd to 24th, 2024 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Live, where the magic of endoscopy begins.